Hey, it's Aeon. Today I'll be showing you how to install BlueJ 19.2 onto your BL Heli S ESCs. This is my bot AFX 5 inch, and as you can see, I beat the hell out of it. But it is a great basher and has BL Heli S ESCs that I want on BlueJ, so I can use RPM filtering. So I thought you guys would like to follow along on this little upgrade, and you might even want to do it to your own drones. So firstly, grab your drone and take the props off. You have been warned. Then plug into USB and LiPo, and you want to go to esc-configurator.com. And it looks like this. Top right, hit connect, just like you would with Betaflight. If you need to select the correct COM port, then go for it. However, I just click it. Once you connect, you should see a page like this. On the bottom right, there is a button, read settings, and we're gonna hit that. If you get an error message, something is wrong. Maybe one of the ESCs is dead or you're using a 32-bit ESC, in which case this is not for you. Once it does read though, you should see something like this. ESC1, CH40, BL Heli S, 16.7. Now that's what the current ESC firmware is. Some people like to flash all ESCs at once, but I've sometimes had problems with that, so I'm going to flash them separately, and here's how. Click Flash Firmware, and select BlueJ. The second one down should be the same as the ESC, so in my case, CH40. Then we want to select the version, so 19.2 at the time of this recording, and select the PWM value. Now what value to select? Well, that's debated amongst the community, but generally, lower PWM for the big stuff, higher PWM for the smaller stuff. It is dependent, but for this 5 inch, I'm going to stick with 48. Once that is done, I'd like to hit right settings, as some ESCs don't save after the flash. This one, I don't need to, but it's a good habit to do if you work with a lot of different ESCs. Also, Pay attention to where it says normal and reversed. Remember to make them the same as before the flash to Blue Jay. But if you forget and want to double check, you could always go to Betaflight and do the motor output slash direction wizard just to be sure. And while you're there, you want to go to the motor tab and select a bi-directional D-shot and hit OK. Then save and reboot. And there we have it, all flashed up nicely, ready for a sunny day to go and rip. So thank you very much for watching. If you feel like I helped you and want to donate, I have a patron where you can sub for just the price of a coffee. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.